I told you that the new ancient Greece civilization will give you the most amount of total infantry stats out of any civilization in the entire game but at the same time doesn't actually give you the most amount of health well if those two things sound confusing to you don't worry because in this video we're going to go over how stats work in rise of kingdoms and we're going to calculate how you can get the most amount of stats for your infantry units here in the game and then we'll answer the question as to whether or not it's worth playing as or switching to the Greece civilization what's going on guys cheers now as you guys know the ancient Greece civilization is the newest latest and greatest civilization to come to rise of kingdoms and they do feature an infantry special unit with an interesting array of stats as well as a nice little health and rally damage buff here now these details do come from the official rise of kingdoms YouTube channel but in the top right corner it does say that these things could change based on the official update so we'll just have to double check to see if that's the case but I'm going to assume that these stats are probably how they're going to be in rise of kingdoms now of course for infantry players a lot of people were excited to see five percent infantry health we have not had a civilization give us five percent infantry health since the game was launched and if you're a rally leader for infantry obviously you were very excited to find out that now you're going to get five percent bonus damage and let me tell you this is just a little bit of a foreshadowing but for most players ancient Greece is going to give them the most amount of stats total so this is definitely going to be the rally civilization for you so if that's all you came here for hopefully you will drop a thumbs up on the video and comment and subscribe for the algorithm because you're probably going to leave right away but for those of you who care about open field fighting then you probably care a lot about this five percent infantry health buff because for those of you that don't know based on the battle formula for rise of kingdoms the way that you can get better trades and by that I mean your severely wounded or dead units compared to your enemies severely wounded or dead units has to do with your total attack on both sides and then the ratio of your defense and health that's a great oversimplification of the whole thing but typically when you're figuring out do I want more defense or do I want more health whichever one is lower and gets them closer in the end result is the way that you want to go and typically health is your lowest stat and it's pretty easy to understand why because your military buffs in your city will show you that you have 98 percent infantry attack 98 percent infantry defense and 66 percent infantry health and the reason for the disparity here is because your personal technology will give you 70 percent attack and defense but only 40 percent of health you can find that here in your academy you could just go through here and you can add that all up and you'll see that you're going to just be getting fewer health stats overall and on top of that if you come into your boost screen you'll notice that you'll have the ability to get five or ten percent uh, defense and you'll also have the ability to get five or ten percent attack depending on which item you use but there is no equivalent item or health so this is yet another way that you can gain these two stats attack and defense a lot easier than you can gain health so overall there are fewer health buffs in the game and that's why when people saw the five percent infantry health buff here they got really excited because typically that would mean better trades however I went through and I did the math and it turns out that ancient Greece doesn't actually provide you with the highest total amount of health and we're going to go over that here in this video and why that is the case okay now in order to do the math here we have to figure out where you get all of your stats from okay and we've already talked about the technology in your city of course you also get some stats from leveling up your buildings and progressing through the game but primarily you're going to get stats from your commanders right your talents you're also going to get it from your gear you're also going to get it from your city skin maybe some runes that you grab of course your civilization which we've already talked about maybe your VIP level right so in this video to do the calculations what I've done is make a couple of assumptions first of all I'm assuming that you're using Guan CBO now I know this is a dramatic oversimplification because you literally might not be using that combination right but I think for a lot of players it's a combination that they either have and use regularly or it's their only infantry pair right because they're a cav main or they're an archer main and that's just the only infantry pair that they have and use so i think for most of you the calculations in this video will be relevant even if they might change slightly if you decide to use cpo sargon or something like that i'm also assuming that you have a five percent health skin okay I'm also assuming that you're using a 10% defense item and I'm assuming that you're either VIP 17 or 18. Now I did two rounds of calculations here. Okay. 
the first one uses this talent build that you see full skill tree and it uses the equipment you see to the right meaning the set helmet the set gloves the hope cloak the set boots the blue shields the purple legs both of those which have talents and then I threw on the horn and the ring now we're calculating stats here so the horn and the ring don't actually do anything regarding your actual stats those are more so about rage and total damage output so you know you can effectively uh remove these and it won't actually make a difference but I figured I would just throw it in there just for uh just for argument's sake just to make it look pretty okay now you'll also notice that I'm assuming none of these pieces of equipment have an iconic crystal and none of the legendary pieces have a special talent and the reason that I went this route is because I think this is a relatively uh, easy to understand equipment build, right? I think that this is very attainable by a lot of players. I know like obviously the accessories maybe are a little bit harder, but in general, I think a lot of players are using the blue shield. I think a lot of players are still using Karox humility because it just doesn't change the outcome very much when you get the eternal light, unless it has a special talent, right? So I think this is a very fair build. It's not the best build in the game, but it's not the worst build in the game. I think it's a very balanced build that a lot of players can eventually get their hands on. Then for the second set of calculations, I assumed that you had the best in slot gear in the game. Okay. I assumed that you had the KVK helmet and hammer and you have a special talent on all of your gear and that all of them have an iconic crystal, meaning eight more total base attack stats eight more total base defense stats and 16 more total base health stats this is sort of to symbolize the end game best case scenario now of course you could like change your city skin and, and you know little micro optimizations like that but for most players this is like what they're striving to achieve they'll probably never get here okay and now we get to do some math and i'm going to show you guys for example with the france civilization because i think a lot of players if you're fighting in the open field and you're an infantry main a lot of players are probably using france they give you three percent bonus infantry health which prior to greece coming out was the only way to get a health bonus with an infantry special unit uh, if you look at the throwing axemen in the game at tier five they have a base attack stat of 221 212 base defense and 227 base health now this is the calculation for the original equipment build that i showed you with the purple legs and the blue shield that means there's no uh, iconics here altering the base stats uh and here we can see the buffs that you get from your city which i already showed you here we can see the buffs that you would get from your equipment your uh, commanders your talents everything else uh including your civilization that you pick and then here we see the total this is literally just your city buff plus all the other buffs that you have and this is your total now this is a percentage and the way that the game calculates your final stats is you take your base stats and you multiply it by the total percent change and boom you have the final stats of your units okay so here we could see for tier 5 France with our very attainable equipment set that we showed before they have base attack of 389 base defense of 335 base health of 267.9 for a total number of stats of 991.8 now the other thing you'll see that I calculate here is the the difference between the defense and the health because remember earlier I told you for the best trades you ideally want to have the highest attacks that you can get while also getting the defense and health as close as possible and at the highest level okay obviously more stats are better I don't think I have to explain that so here you could see the difference in stats between defense and health is 67.1 meaning we have 67 more defense points than we do health points that's pretty obvious now since you understand how this table works let's go ahead and show you the rest of the civilizations that we calculated okay now here we can see with Greece compared to France they have a higher base attack and a higher base defense but a lower base health and we know that because the official rise of kingdoms YouTube channel literally told us what these stats actually are so that's where these numbers are coming from now of course your city buffs aren't going to change but the buffs here will change slightly because remember France has three percent health and Greece has five percent health so you'll see here that they actually do have two percent higher health and when we go through and we use this same equipment and the same everything else you'll notice that the final health stat 
is actually lower than that of France and this is because France is starting with much more base health okay that's just the reality of the throwing axeman unit is they start with more health and so when you multiply that by a certain number really the the biggest difference here is the base stats that's what matters the most here so yes France and Greece Greece has a two percent higher buff to health but the base stats are way higher for health for France and so the end result is that even though Greece gives you a higher buff to health the total health is actually lower now you'll notice that because they have higher attack and defense the total stats for Greece are actually higher however the difference between defense and health is also higher and remember this you want this number to be lower you want the defense and health to be as close as possible and France is actually doing that better and that's because obviously their base health is higher so in this calculation we can see that yes Greece has higher total stats than France again with all the assumptions we've already made using Guan CPO with the talent build I showed you all the equipment and everything like that a very realistic build for most players Greece will have higher stats lower health and a worse defense to health ratio than France so what does this mean for most players well for most players in open field combat you're actually going to perform better with France than you will with Greece because they have yes slightly lower total stats but a better ratio of defense to health now you can also go over Rome Vikings and Japan here um I'm not going to do that because those are not really civilizations that players use in the open field um you could maybe make the argument that yes Rome people might use for Ark of Osiris because you get March speed uh Vikings maybe players might use for the bonus to counter attack damage uh, but what you can see here is that of all the civilizations given the assumptions that we've made the highest total stats go to Greece so that's really interesting now does this change if we have the best possible equipment with full iconics and full special talents and everything that I showed you before the answer is actually no everything is pretty much the same here obviously we're using higher multipliers for everything because everything has higher stats uh and of course all the base stats are higher but by the same amount they're all adding either eight to attack and defense or 16 to health and so we get the same outcome here okay we see that the best ratio of defense to health goes to France and the highest total stats goes to Greece so what does this mean well whether you're a free to play or a well you're better off probably just staying as the France civilization for open field fighting but this does change if you are a rally leader like I mentioned at the beginning of the video because you will have the highest total stats possible and of course you have the five percent bonus rally damage and that is huge because bonus damage is calculated at the very end of all these other buffs and multipliers and all that other stuff so five percent all damage is a big deal and if you're a rally lead this is a no-brainer slam dunk you want to be playing as Greece hands down but for everybody else who's just open field fighting as an infantry main player you probably want to just stick to either France or even the Ottoman Empire now the thing with France is like you're gonna get the best stat ratio you're also going to get the hospital healing speed of 20 percent which you know after a certain VIP level doesn't really change that much but it does save you a lot of speed ups okay so keep that in mind especially if you're a free-to-play player uh but for most players if you're an infantry main you probably just want to stick to France I know that's kind of boring um at the end of the day you know whichever one you think is cooler if you think the units for Greece just look awesome uh and the civilization the buildings and everything look cool then whatever just pick Greece it's going to be the the best experience for you as a player it's going to be the most fun to look at your city and and experience that civilization but if we're talking about late game micro optimizations for open field fighting for infantry main players the answer is either Greece or Ottoman Empire depending on if you're using you know another archer army and a cavalry army and a mixture of all those things uh, a lot of your damage is going to come from skill damage which is why Ottoman Empire is so dominant 
even though it's not an infantry civilization now if you're a brand new player wondering if Greece is a good starting civilization because either of the buffs or because it starts with Pericles the answer is no uh Greece is not going to be an early game civilization if you're a new player and you're wondering what the best civilization is then I would recommend just checking out my beginner's guide the link will be in the description below guys with that being said if you found this video useful or informative or enjoyable drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comments down below your thoughts on this was this information surprising to you was it obvious to you I would love to hear from you guys down below I was honestly surprised to find that Greece would give you the highest total amount of stats um I did not expect that but that seems to be the case and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace